Hey y'all, it's Regina or Gina Gina and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm sitting on my fan and it's because I want to try to show more of my body in this video. Something that I talk about a lot on this channel is my existence as someone with dysphoria who moves with a lot of body dysphoria um, as a part of my identity and also really likes style. Um, and so one thing that has kind of manifested from that is that I have like a handful of pieces in my closet that I bought because I was like, ooh, this is cool, but I've never worn them or I rarely wear them um, outside. So I thought this would be a cool opportunity to sort of pick out a few of those pieces and just let myself kind of explore them, be a little creative uh, without the sort of fear that I often move with when it comes to clothes. Um, so yeah, I think the only caveat or the only like disclaimer is that I uh, have a pretty small studio space, so I don't, I won't be able to get full length shots. Believe me, I've, I've tried. So I decided to pick out three pieces that I, um, two I have not worn in public, and one of them I wore with a monochromatic look. Um, and so yeah, I just wanted to show you those pieces first. The first piece that I will try to look at. I try to wear is this really multi-dimensional or multi-pattern um, shirt. I think I bought it last spring um, at like this thrift store that was going completely out of business so everything was like a dollar or two dollars. It's not something I, I, oh I don't know, I was gonna say it's not something that I normally pick up but I'm not sure about that. But what I do think about it with this is that it was one of the last things that was left there and I was like why not? I I love looking at it, but the idea of, of wearing it kind of on my in, on a day to day basis, I'm like uh, I don't know, I don't know. So I'll try to figure out how to style this. Next piece that I hope to find a way to style are these. Ooh, I think they're called chinos. Um, to me, they're like Bermuda shorts. And yeah, I picked this up from a thrift store, um, Banana Republic this really pastel uh, blue, is it baby's breath? What blue is this? Really pretty blue. Um, it comes down when I wear them. It, it actually comes right to like my kneecaps and then they're a little baggy on me. So yeah, the reasons why I haven't worn them is simply because I am not used to wearing shorts like this. And so it's just, it's kind of new. Just one second. My iron was on because uh, these were really wrinkled and I had to iron them. Um, and so yeah, I don't wear these often because like I said, they're kind of unfamiliar. So yeah, let's see how I style this. Um, it feels like it feels like it should be simple. Like it feels like it should be really, really simple, but I think you know you know when you get into the space where you overthink things. The last thing that I will try to um, play with today are these white, uh, like cream white pants, um, high-waisted pants from the uh, the La Costa Spa in California. <laughs> um, they have these anchors all over them, um, and yeah, again, they're kind of like a mom jean kind of fit or um, boyfriend jean kind of fit. I've worn it once. I wore it with, like I said, um, a monochromatic white outfit, and that was fun. That was really cool and daring for me to do. This time, I'm going to try to try to style it differently. So yeah. Okay, cool. So those are the three pieces. Let's get started. Here's what I'm thinking for this. So with this shirt. Sometimes it can like be kind of overpowering when it's buttoned up all the way. So what I'm thinking is um, unbuttoning it as I'm doing just right now. Putting a shirt under. Wow, that looks really bright on camera. Um, in person, this is uh, like a really like a darker shade of orange. It's not as bright as this orange is, but 
what I was thinking was, right, having, like layering it, so to, so to, to break up that pattern. Whoa, oh no, that looks bad. <gasps> that doesn't look good. That looks weird. Oh no. Okay, so maybe that's not a good idea. What I could also do is break up this uh, pattern with a neutral, just with like a, yeah, like either what I'm wearing right now, this black mock neck or a white one. I think I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to do that. Okay, this is another thing that I have that looks a little less terrible than the first one, which was like that really bright orange. Maybe not. And then, y'all have seen these before. They're just like these uh, gray or these blue pants. <laughs> these blue denim pants that I have. But, yeah? Maybe? We can give it a try. Let's give it a try. Do I like this? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, this actually looks a little better than I thought it would. I'm gonna hide that. It looks a little better than I thought it would, honestly. <laughs> like, slightly better. Okay, what I'm gonna do is... Alright! Let's see how it looks. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, besides my, the blue ink. <laughs> what do you think? Oh my gosh. This is this would be me all day. It's just quietly like mm. So yeah, I think this is the final look. Um <laughs> I am very carefully posing right now. Um and that's what that, that's, the, that's the energy that this outfit gives. Is like you quickly take an Instagram picture and then like that's the only use that you have of this. Mainly because um, the sleeves are like these like long kind of bell sleeves that look cool when they're alone so I wouldn't dare to cut it but it just doesn't, uh, it's not very functional with this outfit. Um, but we're not being functional right now, we're being creative! And what I do like about this is that it does like again break up the pattern in a way that I find really comfortable but also like allows you to showcase like it the warmth of this yellow really complements um the pattern and the warmth of the shirt and so it doesn't take away from it instead it becomes like just a neutral that allows you to appreciate the pattern while not being overwhelmed by it um i also ended up liking so this white hat um i don't have many hats i mainly have just like these black neutral hats um and one introvert hat, which I may wear, but it feels kind of extra to wear it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I normally wear like black hats, but I really like this white hat with it um, because again, it sort of uh, harmonizes, I guess, the outfit. It doesn't take away from the standout, the standout piece of it, which is this patterned shirt, and it just like makes it like a really light and airy. And like sometimes I could golf if I wanted to. But I don't golf because um, golf is boring. Oh no! <laughs> if I were to rate this outfit, I think I would give it a, oh my gosh, I'd give it a 4 out of 10 or a 5 out of 10. Um, it, mo the functionality is most of the deductions on it. Um, <laughs> and, but like it, bump it gets bumped up because it's not, an, it's not awful. Like when I look at it, I'm not like, ah. At least personally. <laughs> um, would I wear this? Can I see myself wearing this shirt out? Maybe. If I find another, like, um, neutral, not neutral, another 
uh, shirt to wear underneath it. I might, I could see myself trying to wear this. Um, yeah, like maybe to the park with a friend. Okay, I think that is this outfit. On to the next one. They don't fit anymore, but I think I can work around that. These are these pants. Um, what I'm thinking of doing, so one, you just roll up. Okay, so that definitely helps a little bit for me. And then what I was thinking also was adding this belt. So that helps a little bit. So now we've got this white top with it. Which I think could be just pretty cool, um, like cool, relaxing, it gives that kind of energy, like, I'm just with my family, I don't care, you know? What I was thinking earlier was the idea of a French tuck. Again, it allows you to like still have this like lounging energy uh, while like showing that you like still have a body if you want to have a body. <laughs> so I think that's pretty... That's... it's fine. Obviously, I think wearing just any fitted collared shirt with this would look nice, or just any shirts, or like any shirt that's not like so oversized like this, I think. Because it's such a simple... it's such a simple pant that of course it's gonna look good with anything else. I think it also would look good... Hmm, let me see. This is my oh well shirt that a friend gave me because I say oh well a lot, like oh well. Um, oh no, my oh well shirt, you might see that I got some pink on it. Yeah, like I said, this is pretty relaxed. I really enjoy how calm it looks. <laughs> um, yeah, this actually might be my favorite so far. I didn't realize I'd find these so comfy. Yeah, aww, this is cute. I. I really enjoy how this looks so much. I enjoy this a lot. So yeah, okay, how do I feel? So, oh my gosh, I feel so happy that I did this, uh, but I'll save that for like closing thoughts. For now, for this outfit, I really, really enjoy this outfit. I don't reach for these pants, these sh shorts, even though they're shorts that um, I've been wanting to explore or test out mainly because I they're unfamiliar and right now they feel like so cozy they feel mad cozy and I feel like uh, like I do with wearing like flowy things or like other shorts where I can really easily move about and not be thinking about my body too much while like still feeling comfortably like covered I also really like this shirt like the shape of it I think with these uh, pants and again it adds like a lightness that I'm like not used to in my wardrobe that I think is like it's just like a much chiller vibe I think than like what I uh, how I normally move the world um, yeah I think this is what I'm landing on it's really simple but it like it's different than I think than what I normally wear and I'm realizing I feel like just much more comfortable in it than some of my normal outfits yeah, nice. I give it a 9 out of 10 for comfort and how it makes me feel just like really easy in my body. Will I wear this again? So I don't know if I will wear these pants again. Will I find more shorts like this? Yes. Will I wear these shorts again? I'm not sure. I might have to give them away. Yeah. Okay, last one. Okay. So we're on to my, <laughs> my anchor pants. This is, I think, close to the outfit that I wore um, initially with it. Um, I had, again, this monochromatic outfit. I didn't have this blue uh, shirt, essentially, or jacket on it, um, but I think my bra is like currently see-through. Or I just wore a see-through bra when I went out the last time and I just was like, fuck it. What I like about these tops is that they are kind of like compression tops while like sometimes hooking my bra on the back like a razor neck so it makes my 
bra like even more secure compression. You can just like move around um, with these without like really thinking about your chest too much. This is what I wore I think before. What I'm gonna try to do is uh, style this in a different way. I went with this silk lime green blouse because I liked the idea of it with the gold detail. It just seemed kind of warm and like fun. Oh, I'm not sure about this. I think the top is a little too dark for the white pants in a way that kind of contrasts in a way that isn't um, appealing, I think, to the eye. I'm gonna see if a different belt could look interesting with this. Uh, let's see first how it looks like this. I think it needs something else to tie it in, but I don't have that accessory. Let's just see how this looks Ooh, buttoned up. Also, you might see that I don't wear this often, this shirt often, because I sweated through it. <laughs> so embarrassing. I'm torn! I'm torn. Okay, let's try something else. I'm gonna try to put it with this brown belt. Maybe. So, we got brown belt, which could work. And then we've got this, which will look like this together. I think I like brown belt more, surprisingly. Um, yeah, that looks a little better. I think this is as good as it's gonna get for now. I like all of these colors in theory together, but I think in the outfit it does just look kind of, I think there's just too much contrast. Like I think this is like a darker shade of yellow or of green and to have such a like a dark shade with this white, very bright white, it it's something that I'm not familiar with so I guess I'm kind of uncomfortable with. Um, I think a different hat will look good with this. Um, I think like this and this go together but with different bottoms. Um, but if I wanted to bring this in together, I probably would wear yeah, either a different hat or no hat. But my hair is a mess right now. I think those are my thoughts on this outfit. Um, would I wear these pants out again? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I might give these pants away um, simply because they don't fit. Like the main reason I bought them was because they were a fit that I really liked and in this like interesting different um, form. But with like the main reason that I bought it like not serving me anymore, um, it's just like a lot of discomfort wearing it. But I did like the trying to style it. Uh, I give it a three, I think. <laughs> I give it a three just based on like not, just not feeling into it. And then yeah, I don't see myself like keeping these pants. Um, but hopefully once I wash them after uh, Miss Rose gone, then maybe it'll find a, a different, a different home. All right, so that is my I explored or rediscovered uh, items that scare me, items that I rarely re re wear in my closet. Um, overall thoughts, I'm really glad that I did it. I, like I said in the beginning of this video, I've been sort of like in this like really murky space of just like not wanting to exist in my body, not feeling really creative or feeling like really engaged in exploration from that and I think this was really like a cool way to um, sort of like compassionately ask myself to move uh, like a little beyond that space and just like explore and like try to have fun. Let me know what you think. Um, if there's any items like in your closet that you like bought like almost in like a different space where you're like whoa I can't believe I bought this like really like wild thing. I hope you have a beautiful day, night. I hope that peace comes to you in some forms. Um, if you did like this video, feel free to give it a like. Um, if you want to see more videos of me trying to explore 
these like really wild things I have in my closet that I just do not wear. Um, feel free to subscribe to this channel if you do, uh, if you are new, or if you just like style, exploring, trying to figure out just what clothes feel right on your body. Um, I'm alongside that journey with you, and I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Bye.